Good afternoon, it's Jilly Coop from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with a little experiment experiment, okay I'm gonna, I, I have used this, um, it's a silicone egg ring that you break your eggs in in the pan and you've got the nice roundy shape I think I've used, I definitely know I've used it before so I'm going to try this again with paints that I already have mixed I've got a mixed bag here of some of the alchemy um, all of them are from Capriol Shabby Chic sent them to me to try so I'm always willing to try anything new so this opal magic and then the others are yeah, well they're all opal magic I think they've just got a different thing but they're all shimmery like opals I have got a bit of the colour shift and dragonfly glaze. I've got a whole sort of container made up of different paints here that I want to try. Um, so I'll just see how I go. It's an experiment more than anything to see if this egg ring works. Uh, I think before when I used it, it was like lay too heavy. So if I remember correctly. So I will just give it another go and try. So I'm going to just uh, put some white paint on the bottom so my paints uh, flow, flow, flow. I'll put the egg ring on top of this. So all of my uh, description of how I've mixed my paints, my pouring medium recipe will be underneath this video and I best put some gloves on. Um, so, so yeah I've definitely done this before but it's been a long time so it's all always good to try new things absolutely so 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 here we go um, yeah just this little silicone egg ring I got from my um, what you call them yeah the local um, like it's like a uh, local hardware shop so I'm gonna just layer so this one would have been the black color shift so i'm just going to see how we go with it i'm layering these different gorgeous colors this is the alchemy i think this was a blue sapphire or something i, do, I will double check for you fun trying new things absolutely so yeah this is another one of the alchemy they're very like shimmery and oh they've got gorgeous sparkle in there hey 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 this little puppy of ours is making sure everybody hears him they're very thin so I'm not sure what the real consistency should be under normal circumstances so I will have to have a look on the site of these paints to see what they recommend but I believe there's a few artists that have used them so I'll have to check out so if anybody's used them and can give me any pointers I'm absolutely happy to hear from you so 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 whatever they come out like, they should all be shimmery, shivery timbers. Um, this is, oh, they're all so beautiful. Wow. Always good trying new things, whether they come out or not is a whole different ball game. But remember, it's only paint, so don't get too stressed about it. It is a small amount of paint that I'm trying today, so certainly not going to worry too much. 
about it. Probably got way too much paint for this little canvas, so I better just give that a miss there. Um, just pour a little bit more paint around so we get it to travel. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I've got this little handle here so you can lift it. I just want to sort of burp it out, really. I'm going to see if it would go underneath the other paints. The base paint. Oh, yes, it is too. Oh, looky, looky. My goodness, where's my heat gun? She's using my heat wand, heat embossing tool, so much safer than the butane, I believe. See, it's underneath the white, so it should start to react. Wow, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Come on, you little beauty, show me something new. <laughs> Just heating the paint up nice and slowly instead of um, kind of burning. Wow, not liking that. So I want to put something on there that takes away the starkness. this that's gorgeous okay I'll try and go through the colors because they're all in here um, I know of that yellowy one was the opal magic yellow pink it's called yellow pink I use the blue pink but this is green pink teal pink I used all of those and I used this blue green blue green. Oh, I better concentrate on what's happening on the canvas. I don't want to lose this. Now, just very gently. Wonder if putting that on my spinner. Oh, I don't know. Look at these, they're gorgeous. You can see the paint is underneath the white paint. So, I will do some um, whirly gigs through it and see. I did mix this paint with the um, acrylic flow medium and only put a bit of flow trial in that black one. Um, it's got no silicone in it, so there's no worrying about having to. Not that when I use the um, Helmar silicon, I don't really have a hard job of cleaning that particular silicon, doesn't seem to leave hardly any residue and I just wipe it over with a um, soapy cloth when the painting's fully cured and then can gloss over it that is gorgeous actually I like it I don't want to tilt it it's so gorgeous kind of got to tilt the paint over the canvas or it can't leave it so thick because it might an opportunity to crack if I do so I'll just do it nice and slow see if I can retain some of it but that is really glistening away I'm not sure if you can see this don't want to pour 
actually love these where I've done the skewer through because it's just glistening through it so that is the colour shift paint maybe I don't take it through the top at all I'll just have to tilt some off but maybe I just keep the bottom with the colour and leave a bit of negative space with my swipes at the top that might be the go so if I just wow that's lovely um my little spatula I'll just move some of this paint out spread it out a bit I can always add a bit more if I need to go over that because I'll rehash that so it's very therapeutic and very oh it's definitely fun to do that's for sure so those colors are gorgeous I want to um, now those bits of um, whirly gig things have turned out so pretty I will channel my inner Kathleen Osmore if anybody knows Kathleen she does beautiful beautiful swipes and she's such a lovely lady so if you haven't looked her up please do so because she does a lot of this kind of things where I think she calls it noodling with the uh, a skewer or a stick or some kind of tool that she uses but she's it's actually like that having that bit of negative space hopefully that will kind of go like the other bit I'm going to just grab a bit of paint from underneath and dab my corners because that's absolutely acceptable to finger pop the corners just instead of trying to tilt and tilting off all your loveliness um, I like it I like it I love this it's gorgeous very happy with that so that's the um, alchemy alchemy not I don't know if I'm saying it right but it is absolutely shimmering with the uh, folk art color shift paint in there getting cells come up but it's got no silicone in it so that's interesting isn't it so yeah this um i believe this is definitely available i think it is from the us the art alchemy um so it's easily obtainable in the us um and i believe in europe uh we get it here in australia off the capriole shabby chic site which is down below so if you want to give this a go like I said I've mixed it mostly with the acrylic flow I mean I suppose if you're in the US you would mix it with some uh, Liquidex pouring medium or Floetrol maybe is just the thing so it's interesting it's very sheeny shiny so it's fun to use and I think I will continue my noodling or my whirly gigging oh I like it okay thank you so much for joining me having fun with paints is uh, very therapeutic to us all these fun dragonfly glaze um, folk art acrylic metallics all good fun and looks look really super duper in the painting I will put some photographs on at the end and I will put my joke for the my nana joke that you can roll your eyes and think oh my goodness what is she on but um all good fun people thanks so much for joining me um thank you all for your lovely comments i appreciate each and every one of them thanks so much bye for now just wanted to come down real close on this and see if you can see how sheeny shiny shimmery 
it is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous effects in it of the shimmer so you can imagine what that would come out like after it's had um a resin coat so look at that wow it's a stunner it's a stunner thank you for joining me what do you call it when a group of apes start a company monkey business what did the police officer say to his be be belly button? <laughs> You're under a vest. Okay, roll your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. Look at my little bits at the end. I continued noodling and added some uh, droplets on there that look a bit like cells. So. If you're interested in seeing how that's done, uh, let me know and I will put them on another video for you. Bye for now.